Hey, hello, my friend. Uh, glad to see you here. Um, today, we'd like to uh, explain to you what the prayer is. Um, you may see the people pray to their God, you know, asking for help and uh, many, many questions. Uh, but how does the Bible say about the prayer? So I would like to uh, decipher uh, what the prayer really is. Hope that this is an interesting topic to you. One of the most famous uh, prayer in the Bible is uh, when the Jesus disciple asked Jesus how we should pray. And the Lord explained to them that this is how you should pray. The, so the first things that he said, uh, our Father in heaven. So today I just talk about the hour. Uh, interesting. Why is our Father in heaven? It's supposed to be, if I'm in the need, I should say, my Father in heaven. Huh. The Lord teach us to pray from other people's perspective, not from my perspective. Now, many people come to the religion for the help, asking for help, uh, give them some insight, you know, help the, us to solve the, uh, the uh, personal issues, um, and even maybe come and find the friends. But seems like uh, this is not what the purpose of this faith looks like is talk about something else. It's about others, not about ourselves. Huh. So it's sort of a a little bit different than most of the people looking at the religion. Uh, most of the people looking at it uh, might be uh, looking for their own, for their own sake, uh, not for the other sake. So the first target of the prayer is our Father, not my Father. That is intriguing. So what does it tell us is that the prayer is not a self-centered, but is family-centered. Why I say family? Well, if everyone called God as a father, then of course we're the family. So we, when we pray, we pray from the family perspective and looking at us as a part of the member. Hmm, interesting. So when we come to the prayer, we should change the perspective, not by ourselves, but rather than looking at the whole family, we are being a part of the, the member. So keep that in mind when we pray. Keep that in mind that we are the part of the prayer, not the whole part of the prayer. All right? So we should learn how to see our need from the family together. Now, how do we address our personal issue, the real issue in our life from the family perspective and see whether we see something different in our prayer? So first of all, <laughs> the problem you have, do you think that the other people doesn't have? Of course, if that's the, you know, uh, the unique problem to us, okay, personally, of course, then we ask for the help that sounds reasonable. But if the problem is everyone share, then hmm, should I solve my own issue or should I find a solution to solve everybody else's issue? Right? So so the first thing, okay, and understand whether the things that bothering us is common to all or just for ourselves. The second is if we think about that, if that issue that we come across, is it caused by the other people? Or is it created by ourselves? Uh, both are the interesting questions to ask. If it's created by ourselves, well, <laughs> then we can think <laughs> why we create this problem for ourselves. But our issue is created by other people, then should the prayer to say, change him or change ourselves and also think about why this person created this issue for me 
Is it because the other people causing the issue to the other person? Wow, this become an interesting dialogue. Now you will see the issue that we are facing in the much, much broader perspective. This will help us to find the real issue why we come into this. Now, for example, in the pandemic, so is it everybody else issues? Oh yeah, of course, everybody else issues. Can, should I just ask, God, please save me from being infected in this pandemic? Do you think it's a fair ask? Well, looks like, uh, well, of course, unless you have a specific reason, you might be asking for such a help. For example, you are the one who know how to uh, create a vaccine for everyone. Uh, this is important, not for myself, but for everyone. Well, that sounds like a legitimate ask. But if it's just because I'm just a normal human being, but I just don't want to get sick, then God, please help me not to get sick. Well, it seems to be well, not the, uh, the best things to ask. Maybe we should ask is that uh, God, Give me the wisdom how to help the other people avoid being sick. I being one of it. Well, that's that's the better prayer. So now, uh, just the first word in the Lord's Prayer already reveal a lot about what the prayer really is. Hey, my friend, next time when we pray, remember that it is our Father in heaven it is not my father in heaven. My issue and my problem is not my problem alone, which is a everybody else problem. Even though I'm the only one get sick, but also is affecting the whole family. Everyone will get affected because they care for me, also need to learn how to take care of me. So it is not just my problem, my issue, but everyone else's problem. So I hope that uh, this work, our Father in Heaven, keep, give us the, the right perspective when we pray. Okay, see you next time.